Welcome to yet another happy episode of All Things, where we discover the harmony between us through our unique stories, authentic people that makes the ordinary extraordinary. We start this week's episode with the importance of storytelling and how stories and the platforms we use for storytelling can build us and bring us closer to each other. We have a chat to the Sandwich King of George and how the right sandwich for you can open a world of inspiration and influence your philosophy for life. And we end the show with our very own Rhino and Rasta and the art of creating music. Enjoy the show with us. Hi, my name is Heather, uh, Heather Stead, and I um, am currently um, running this market community theatre. Uh, I do have a background in, in, in theatre. I specialise in drama and education and applied theatre. So working in, we've been working for 20 years in Tembeletu, Conval, running drama clubs, uh, doing theatre um, all over the place. You know, theatre is, is so important in opening opening doors to people who've never been to a theater, to, to say, wow, uh, opening creativity and imagination. It, it's stimulating creativity and imagination. And it's wonderful to see kids when they get on stage and their confidence grows and they just enjoy being on stage. So the Market Community Theater was is a passion project of a group of theater drama teachers um, and we've been fighting for this building because it was derelict it is run by the municipality and finally we have got uh, the lease for five years to run a community arts theater here and uh, it has got so much potential. It's a, it's a stage for everyone. It's an opportunity for emerging artists to come and put on a show. Um, so we are so excited to have this opportunity. You know, the Market Theatre has the potential to, to bring more people onto the stage. It's not a fancy theatre, it's a, it's a theatre for everybody. And we've had invited guests. We have people coming to me to say, Andrew Young, who's a famous saxophonist, phoned me and said, can we perform on your theatre? People willingly uh, donating their, their time and, and, and skill to raise some funds. We have no lights. <laughs> you, you perform here, you bring your own lights and sound. Not really. We do have a little bit of, of, of equipment now, but um, we, 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 we opening a, 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 a new facility in George where people can perform. So to, to, to raise funds, we started our first fundraiser was a chair, a chair cover fundraiser. And so we sold off all these chairs so people could, to, could pay 300 rand to choose their chair cover and have their name on our, our chair cover sponsor board and and so we have we've taken what was a really dull damaged black chairs and we've revitalized it and re-energized it with all these beautiful shwe shwe colors my personal philosophy in life i think is to to open doors and to Everybody has their story and to create a space where those stories can be told and to see somebody telling their story and having created that story into a book and then telling that story on stage it is it is just an incredible experience uh, I am uh, Jeffrey van Eker, uh, and uh, I'm a drama facilitator in our rural communities. Uh, so what I do is I go around schools and I develop a drama club whereby I share uh, my knowledge and my experience with them. And uh, as well, we create uh, a drama that uh, we perform for our communities. 
And uh, what I've learned over the years is uh, kids do enjoy it because they don't have a platform uh, to perform. So my involvement at the Market Theatre is uh, I'm the backstage manager and I'm also uh, uh, kind of like volunteering, making this place uh, uh, look awesome. I've been painting, I am still painting and, uh, and I just do it out of the love. And uh, a storytelling in our communities is one of the big things because uh, kids sometimes they have ideas but they don't have the opportunity or someone who can develop the ideas into a story. The value of storytelling uh, is uh, kids, they tell stories that's happening within our communities and uh, it's something that's uh, not happening and uh, I uh, provide a platform for them to tell their stories in a more creative and structural way and uh, it means a lot because uh, I can uh, provide a platform for them to tell their stories to the community. That's why I love my community work that I'm doing. So my name is Ivan van der Merwe and I like working with people and like getting outside, like playing. I yeah, love, really love getting into the ocean. It's like almost like a different all different world, new perspective on life almost. If you get, especially under the water, it's almost like you're going into space. <laughs> Some people want to go see space, but you have it kind of right here. My personal philosophy for life is, yeah, kind of work hard, have fun. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up on toasted cheese, actually to smell the cars, peruikis. So that was like my staple food since I was a kid. It's like a sandwich with cheese melted in the microwave, a little bit of tomato sauce. So I think it started back then. And then after that in school, I always liked cooking. So I was a chef at a fine dining, or a few fine dining restaurants before this. And that's, fun but I think everyone likes a sandwich so yeah since school it was just love making all different was using different fun ingredients to put on a sandwich <laughs> if life was a sandwich I think it would be a toasted cheese because you don't have to make it too complicated <laughs> the best sandwich that's ever been made um, the number 27, the smoked chicken sandwich is probably the best sandwich that's ever been made on a fresh white bread. Rainer? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rainer. Here is Rainer. Ek is Rasta. We always have a grapje. But yeah, ek is Henry Rasta van Rainer and Rasta. And ek is Rainer, the Rainer van Rainer and Rasta. Weet jy, ek het redelijk jong begin op die ouderdom van so 12, 13. Um, was ek maar een typische verveelde tiener gewees en toe kry my broer een gitaar en hy het nooit die gitaar gespeel nie en toe vat ek die gitaar en gaan na ons local music shop toe en kry een boek en so het ek maar uit die boek uit geleer hoe die koods werk en al die komt goed en ach ja, dat had my passie net rarig begin groei waar ek nou Anna Owens sien gitaar speel het en gesien het hoe hulle die goeders doen en toe begin ek een bykie meer in, in het inkom en ja, meer goed uitfigure en so het my liefde vir muziek net groter en groter en groter geraak tot waar ons vandag is. Muziek was my altyd in die huis gewees, my ooms, my paas en broers, allemaal gitaar gespeel, keyboard, dis waar ek het maar gesien het, groot geraak met muziek in die huis en ook om te reen so 12, 11, 12, 13, gitaar opgetel, paard vir my gitaar gekoop en ek het net daar vanaf in die huiswerk gedoen nie, vir niemand sê nie, en net gitaar gespeel. <laughs> Ek het vir die local music shop hier in die dorp stukate gewerk um, en Henley het ingekom net as soos half a casual werker 
het al oor die december tydperk om bokse uit te pak, gitare te tune, weet die type van ding vir mense te doen. En die ouwe saam met wie ek toe gespeel het op die call, het my die middag van die gig het hy my gedrop. My gelat weet, hy gaan dit nou nie kan maak nie. En ek weet toe nou, Henley is een fenomenale gitaarspeler, en ek praat toe vir hom, soos, oor die so, hoe is jy op improv playing? En hy soos, nee, hy is ok met dit. Ek soos, ok, cool, ons gek vanavond 7 uur by Shenanigans. En hy het al opgedaag, al mooi gesoet en getaai, want hy het ook nog so, vir a geek, nee, dit is a geek hierdie. En ek is daar in my jeans en tackies en a t-shirt. Ja, en toe het het maar van daar af, weet, soos wat hulle sê, no turning back, weet, no looking back. En the rest is history. Ja, the rest is history. Amper soos as iemand connect met a song, bijvoorbeeld, uit wat die song gedoen het, waar hulle dit geluister het, as die memory, al die memories kom op, en as ons bijvoorbeeld baie speel, trouw is, baie by a birthday party, en hulle vraag vir specifieke songs, bijvoorbeeld. Want hulle soos daar, hulle herleef net die emotion, wat die song vir hulle gebring het, en dis kom ons, dis kom ek muziek like, dis kom ons muziek doen. Ek meen, wat een plek om in te bly, dis ongelooflik. Amal wil jy bly. Amal wil jy bly. Jy sê, het bosse en berge aan die ene kant, en jy het see, en weet, dis net, alles wat jy wil hee, is hier, en lieflike weer, lieflike mense, ja, hier is soveel vir die siel om te doen, in die natuur natuurlijk, en dan, obviously, music scene is ook lekker, ja, baie nice live music venues ook. My filosofie in die lewe is, waar jy gegrond is, is wat gaan uitkom, wanneer moeilike situasies kom, en, weet, ons allemaal gaan dier goed is, en, Ja, soos ek sê, waar jy gegrond is, dit is wat op die einde van die dag gaan weerspeel en hoe jy die situasies hanteer, hoe jy dier het kom en ja, hoe jy aan die ander kant uitkom. Ja, basically amper nie selfde. Hoe jy, wat jy van jou current situasie maak, jy is nie wat jou situasie is nie. Jy kan dier enige iets kom, as is er miskien wat even is. Jy kan net dier het kom en van die dag vir dag, soos muziek. Muziek het my van baie, baie, baie goed is afgereed. En baie slechte goed is, slechte vriende, slechte kees is. En dit is hoekom ons wat is, waar ons vandag is. Thank you so much for watching this episode of All Things. Feel free to email us at info at vumatv.co.za Like and subscribe to the channel and your comments are welcome. See you next time. Live simply, travel light, and always see the wonder.